Hi everybody, from the very beginning, Project IDX has always had great support for GitHub-based repositories. Now, one of our top requests that many of you have made to us is, can we also have IDX work really well with GitLab-based repos, as well as Atlassian's Bitbucket-based repos as well? So I'm happy to announce that starting right now, you can have an early preview where you can try out repos created on GitLab and Bitbucket. And the way you use it is just the way you would expect it to be used. So right now I'm currently in my you know, repository where I have my project and I'm calling it my awesome project. And it's a GitLab based repo. For the demo, I'm gonna be using GitLab, but the workflow I'm gonna highlight works the exact same way for a Bitbucket based repo as well. So the first thing I'm gonna do is copy the URL that now maps to my repository. I'm gonna to go to IDX and I'm gonna click on the import repo tab. And for the repo URL, I'm gonna paste the GitLab URL I just copied a few moments ago, and I'm gonna hit the import button. Now this will take a few moments, so I'm gonna speed this up through the video. Okay, Project IDX has now loaded, and the contents of my project are the exact same contents of my repository as I have it right now. And what I can do from here is make some minor changes, come with the changes back, and let me show you how that would work. So here I have a comment, hello world, that seems to be kind of malformed. I'm gonna make the change, hit save. And once I've made the change, I can go to the source control tab, just like I would normally do for any Git-based change, and add my message, you know, fix broken comment. Click the commit button, answer some default questions, and go ahead and sync my changes. Once I've made this change, I'm going to be asked for my username, in which case in this it'll be Grupo one And now I can provide a password. My recommendation is that you actually generate a personal access token that can be done via the GitLab project settings and use that and I'll talk about why I specify a personal access token in a few moments. So I'm gonna go ahead and paste that in there. And now after a few moments have passed, this change that I just made should now be committed to my repository. So let me go back to my project. Let me refresh this page. I can now see that readme.md was changed just now. And if I look at the actual contents of my readme.md file, you can now see that hello world has the appropriate, zoom in a bit, you can see that hello world has the appropriate form commenting syntax that is no longer broken. And if I had to work with a private repo, same exact behavior, the main change would be that for a private repository, I'll be asked for the username and password or personal access token during project open itself. So the behavior is identical. Now, many of you may also use the GitLab extension. So let me go ahead and install that. I'm gonna to go to the, our extensions marketplace, type in GitLab. The official GitLab extension is available right here. I'm gonna click install. This will just take a few quick moments to get everything up and running. And it's installing. And now you can see the icon for GitLab appearing in my, in my toolbar. I'm gonna to click on GitLab workflow. I'm gonna click authenticate the GitLab instance. And in this case, I'm just using the public gitlab.com URL. So I'm gonna click on that one. And now for authentication method, the, there's a bug in the OAuth workflow and we're gonna be working with the right people to fix that. But the personal access token, authenticating using a PAT, that's gonna work just fine. So I'm gonna select that option instead. I'm gonna enter an existing token and let me go and copy that one more time and paste it in here. Once I have pasted that token in, you can now see that the, the, all the various issues and merge requests from my repository are also now available right here. You can see that for the deployment I just had, that everything passed appropriately and everything's fine. For issues assigned to me, there's nothing there. Issues created, I can see that there's a item here, update the version of node, but I can now fully manage my project and be able to do all the kind of activities that I would expect. So not only do I now have the ability to work with repository files and then commit changes, do all the typical Git actions, I can also install the appropriate extension and be able to do more of my workflow that my team might be using. So there you have it, a very quick overview of our improved Git-based workflow where we no longer just support GitHub, but we also now support GitLab and Bitbucket-based repos. And if you have any questions or have more feedback, the best place to get in touch with me is on the forums at community.idx.dev. And you can also reply on Twitter or wherever you happen to find this, just tag me or any members of our team. We'll be happy to take a look and help unblock you as needed. And with that, I will see you all next time.